I just feel like this one here is gonna have a baby that's never gonna come out. And to me, yo, that ain't the way. <laughs> yo, what up, y'all? Okay, so listen, y'all. I'm like conflicted and confused at the exact same time because the PS5 Slim digital version that I got right here is a product that I didn't even think was even gonna be coming out. Let me explain what I mean. When I actually first saw that PlayStation announced that they were actually going to be releasing a PS5 Slim in the disc version as well as the digital version, I told myself in this video right up here that I was actually looking forward to it and I wanted the PS5 digital version here over the PS5 disc version because for me, I don't really like dealing with physical discs anymore. And listen, don't be coming for me down in the comments because I already know y'all disc warriors down there. Y'all be going hard for y'all disc drives when it comes to the PlayStation. So again, it's all love, man. But when this product here was actually released, they only dropped the disc version and they gave us like no date or any information on when or if the digital version was even still coming out or were they just gonna sell us a cover for you guys to be able to pick up and you can remove the whole disc drive off of here and then you can replace a disc version plate with a digital version plate. It just so happens that I just happen to be out there on PlayStation Direct Store and I just happened to see that the PS5 Slim digital version was actually available for you guys to buy. And here we are. <laughs> but either way, we here, we got it here in the house, and I'm gonna be unboxing it for you guys right here today, showing you, man, every single thing that you can get inside, as well as comparing it up to the PS5 Slim disc version here, so that way you can see them side by side to determine which size or which look is actually gonna be the right one for you. Now, I'm also gonna be removing the plate drives on both of these, so that way you can see underneath the hood of both of them. Now, listen, I'm not going all the way down to the motherboard. This is not gonna be a teardown, because this is not the channel for that. But either way, man, and you can see if there's gonna be any major differences between the two. And then we're gonna go ahead and hook it up to the screen here behind me, man. We're gonna get it all set up. We're gonna run some COD on there because you already know Modern Warfare 3 is out, but we're gonna be testing out if there's any loud fan noises or any crazy heat that's gonna be coming from this. But I also got the vertical stand here that I'm also gonna be unboxing in this video as well because this is something that I was looking forward to. And again, I still think they should have gave us this uh, inside of the box. But again, that's a whole nother story for another day. I still got love for PlayStation, but listen, Sony, PlayStation, we gotta do better, baby. <laughs> All right, so let's go ahead and put the stand off to the side because I feel like the main thing everybody here wants to see is everybody wants to see the PlayStation 5. And me waving this around is crazy right now. But either way, we're gonna go ahead and cut the box right here, put this away before I do some damage. Now, you already know I had some struggles on the first time I tried to do this with this one. See, you know what I'm saying? I got it better that time. See, we learned from our past. <laughs> All right, so let's go ahead and open this bad boy up right here. Now, as far as the stuff that we get here on the inside, we get our HDMI cable here that you guys are gonna be able to plug this into your monitors. And then we also get our power cord here. And then we also get a uh, USB-C to C cable. This is gonna be used for charging up the controller. Top, we got our controller. We got another one, because we got two now in house. <laughs> uh, but yeah, we got our controller right here. This is gonna be your standard dual sense controller again i feel like if you guys are competitive gamers out there then i highly recommend you guys check out the dual sense edge pro controller because i'm telling you that is the go-to controller for me man i really do like that controller and then here we get our stands this is going to allow us to be able to lay the uh playstation flat now, I've already told you guys how I feel about these. Uh, I do feel like they should have gave us something a little bit better than just two little plastic things here with some rubber tips on the end. Listen, Sony, PlayStation, we gotta do better, baby. <laughs> and then obviously we get our books here that obviously nobody out there is gonna read. Let's go ahead and take off the paper because I am very curious on how this one's actually gonna look in comparison to the this version. Now, to me, Let's go ahead and peel this off here. Got some nice little tape. So let's start off with comparing these two side by side and just showing you exactly what they're gonna look like side by side. So I'll turn them this way so you guys can get a look at it. And then I'll also turn it, whoa, that's wild. <laughs> I'll turn it this way so you guys can also see it as well. And then from the top down angle, I'll give you guys a peek from it this way, side by side, you got the disc version here in my right hand, and then you got the digital version here in my left. But I say overall, man, 
I'm definitely digging the uh, digital version a whole lot more than I'm actually digging the disc version here, just simply because I still feel like this bad boy here being six months pregnant it's just not the way for me, man. I, I like the slim, sleek design. I just feel like this one here is gonna have a baby that's never gonna come out. And to me, yo, that ain't the way. <laughs> but all jokes aside, man, I feel like either model that you guys go with, I feel like you're gonna enjoy them. I feel like both of these definitely looks good. I just, for me personally, just because I like to go the whole digital route when it comes to my games, because I just don't like the fact of having to store games because over time, man, that build up becomes crazy. And I don't like having to deal with that. So the first thing I want to go ahead and do is show you guys the back of them because I want to show you um, exactly what the back's going to look like, if there's any differences here. And we can see here we got our HDMI port uh, up top. We got our LAN cable. We got our two uh, USB-A drives. And then we got our power cable here at the bottom. You got the PlayStation logos here at the bottom on the slim as well, on the digital version as well as the disc version. Now, the next thing I want to do is I want to see what the inside of these consoles actually look like side by side because I want to know by this one here being a disk drive, is it actually going to be any different um, on the inside of the digital version versus this one? And again, your boy, we're not going all the way down to the motherboard. This ain't a this ain't a teardown. We're not doing that. Uh, so let's go ahead and just peel this one off. All right, and we're gonna start the same way over here. Just pop these off again. It's gonna sound like you're breaking it, but you're not. And then, all right, so right up top here, we can see here, as far as our fans here, now to me, it looks literally identical. There's really no changes there um, as far as the fan. Now, the cool thing about both of these is when you do tear these down, the cool thing about it is that the fan housing actually comes all the way out. It is attached to the grate here on the top of it. And then let's go ahead and peel off the bottom here. And then let's see what this one's actually going to look like on the digital side here. Okay, so looking at the digital side and the disc version side, for some reason for this one, it seems definitely more compact, but as far as the style and layout, it is pretty much the same as you guys can see here uh, out of, as you guys can see here out of both of them. Now, the next thing I want to do is flip it over to the other side. Now, this is the side that I feel like is, you're definitely going to possibly notice a difference uh, when it comes to these. So let's go ahead and peel off the top portion let's take a look now one change i do see is right here on the top of the fan now it looks like they use some type of closure uh on this one versus this one being more open as you guys can see and i'll do more of a close-up here so you can see this one right here is the disc version and you can see here the fan part is a little bit different than what we get here on the digital version you can see they have this more of like a closed in then ring on top of the fan unit so not sure why they decided to go that route but that is one change that i definitely see uh out of both of these i'm not sure what that is but it's got to be for something all right so let's go ahead and peel off the bottom part now this here is going to be the disk drive uh section now from my understanding, you should be able to put the disk drive or buy a disk drive version and still be able to put it on here. And we definitely can. You can see right here, we do have the connector here at the bottom where we can stick a disk drive on here. So for example, if I wanted to go in and I wanted to peel this one off, I can easily be able to just swap this and put this right on here or if I bought another one. Now the thing about it, if you guys are buying the drive, you will still have to register that drive even still to your digital version. Now, if you guys have the disc version, then you're automatically going to register it once you guys plug it in and set it all up. Uh, as I showed you guys in this video that's right up here, if you guys are swapping them and you're putting them on this version, you will have to register it to that whole new unit and you won't just be able to, you know, hot swap them or anything like that. So just looking at both of these, man, I would say from the internal perspective, they pretty much both look the same. The only difference I noticed is definitely here on the fans. I'm not sure why PlayStation decided to go this route here on the digital version versus going this route here on the uh, disc version. Now, again, you still get your uh, SSD, your M.2 slot for you guys to be able to expand the storage capacity on here. Uh, but the thing about both of these, you will be getting one terabyte of storage here on both of these, which to me is a major W because on the OG version, you definitely didn't get that. I promise y'all, man, putting these plates back on here is definitely not 
It's not as straightforward as taking them off. I'm struggling over here. <laughs> oh yeah, we in there, baby. <laughs> All right, so the next thing that I wanna actually check out here, and I'm curious on what this actually gonna look like, but when I first saw it, I'm not gonna lie to you, man. I actually liked the look of this stand uh, when they showed it out there online. So let's go ahead and uh, put that away so before we hurt ourselves. All right, so let's go ahead and pull this one here out of the box. Now again, like I told you guys, man, uh-oh, here we go. I'm struggling again. Here we go. <laughs> like I told you guys, man, I feel like this is a stand that should have actually came in a box. I feel like with this system here being smaller, I do feel like the profit margins are definitely higher for sure, enough to where they could have actually put this stand here inside of the packaging. But again, you know, it's Sony, so you just got to pay that Sony tax. Uh, all right, so this is that part. And then let's go ahead and get the whole piece of it out of the box. Now, I'm going to have to figure out how we even connect this thing. But I'm not going to lie to you. From just the look of it, this bad boy looks premium. Like, I'm, I'm loving that chrome shine on the top of it. All right, so let's, uh, let's figure out how this bad boy sets up on here. Let's try to figure out how this actually goes on here. Now, this is obviously is the vertical stand. All right, so we're going to put that right there. Okay. All right, so there's a screw. Somewhere. Oh, okay, here we go. Screws right here at the top. Wow, that's a tough place where I can miss that. You get a screw right here that's actually in the top of the packaging, so you definitely don't want to miss that. All right, so I think this goes on like so. So this, okay, so this plugs into there. So I think this goes on to here. Bro, I'm striking out so bad right now. Now the problem is, is where does the screw actually go? This is the part I'm confused on. Oh, okay, so it depends on the model group. So for me, I have a CFI 2015. Oh, okay, all right, so hold on, wait a minute. Now this is something that hasn't been talked about here on YouTube that I don't feel anybody has talked about. So when it comes to this little piece right here that you guys get with your stand, this actually only works with the CFI 1000 model group. Now, as you guys can see right here, on my PlayStation right here, my model number right here is a CFI 2015 model that you can see right here in the corner. If you guys have a CFI 1000 model of your PS5, then you're gonna use this stand right here that comes with the uh, stand that you guys buy. But because I don't, I don't have to actually use this piece right here, which is why it's not working like I would expect it to work. Um, and so this one here actually is gonna go for this right here. Now I'm assuming the CFI 1000 model is probably gonna be the OG uh, PS5. All right, so boom, we got the stand on there and here we go, man. I personally, I like the vertical stand, man. I think the vertical stand is clean, definitely adds a completely different look to your PS5 Slim, uh, to the point where, I'm not gonna lie, I'm probably gonna buy me one for the uh, OG PS5 because I'm not gonna lie, I like it. <laughs> now, the first thing I wanna go ahead and do is, I wanna go ahead and now get this one right here, get the digital version, get it plugged into the setup here behind me, and uh, we're gonna go ahead and download some games and get this bad boy tested out. We're gonna test out the sound to see if the fans are gonna get louder on here than it does on something like the disc version, because I do feel like with this expanded bottom here that it might have a little bit more room for this system here to breathe versus this one. But again, we're gonna see, we're gonna do all of the testing here. So let's go ahead and get it all set up behind me. Uh -uh, sit down, boy. Sit down, boy. Uh -uh, sit down, boy. Mm -mm, not today. Nope. Nope, not today, boy. Got him. <laughs> Thought he had one. Nope, 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 nope. Not today, boy. Get them both out of here, coach. Get them both out of here, coach. Nope, not today, boy. Not today. All right, so overall, man, I'm actually glad that they released the digital version of the PS5 Slim because I feel like size-wise, as well as the form factor, to me, it's the perfect size for being able to display it on a desk like you guys have seen here behind me or just having it uh, set up on the top of my entertainment setup where my TV sits that you guys have seen without it like looking out of place, right? To me, overall, I just think the PS5 Slim, whether it's the digital version or the disc version, they both look dope to me. But to me, I just prefer the more slimmer factor. But 
again, man, no judgment here because I understand fully why people out there, you know, prefer the disc version over something like the digital version and vice versa. So I get it. Trust me. Plus, listen, we all family on this channel because either way it goes, y'all still PlayStation gang anyway. <laughs> but if you guys enjoyed this video, man, and you found value, hit that like button, man. And don't forget to click on that subscribe button because we getting closer and closer and we moving on up, man, to that 200 subscriber mark. And I feel like with you guys' help, we can get there, man, because that is the next goal that is in mind. Appreciate you guys' love. See y'all in the next one, squad. We out. <laughs>